Hey, hey, and welcome into my channel. We are going to have ourselves a little bit of a different day today. You guys will get to see something completely different than trucking today. And that's uh, why I call it, I record my daily life. So I record whatever interesting things are happening or whatever, you know. So today I went to uh, to the mall up here in Steinbeck, to the Sobeys Mall. And I saw all kinds of interesting things up there. So I uh, went and talked to the people up there and asked them if I could interview them. And they said yes. They were really, really nice people there, Heather and uh, Ed. They uh, showed me their airplanes and uh, told me a little bit about their business and stuff like that. So you guys are going to get to see the video today. Yes, sir. So stay tuned for that and you will get to see all the uh, different airplanes that they got like these are remote airplanes and stuff like that. So uh, hey, hope you guys will enjoy that video. And we got Heather over here. Hi. Hi. And uh, this is? Ed. Ed. Okay. So what, what do we got going on here in Steinbeck today? Uh, today we have the Diamond Aces, which is the Steinbeck RC Flying Club. Okay. And we have our annual mall show display. Oh wow, so uh, I'm going to show the viewers here a little bit on what we got going on here. So uh, uh, what kind of what kind of planes, like I'm not familiar with the names and stuff like that, like what kind of planes do you guys have up here? Today we have a complete variety. We have electric powered, we okay. have glow fuel powered, which is oh, wow. Never primarily, that. <laughs> prim primarily alcohol. Okay. That's that's where they started about 40 years ago, 40, 50 years ago. Wow. And now we've even gone into the gasoline. We have some gasoline powered okay. aircraft here. So we've got three different kinds of power. Okay. And uh, and they're all different sizes, right from the, as you can see, right from the yeah. small yeah. Uh, 15, 18 inch wingspan, right up to six, seven, eight feet wingspan. Uh, you can even buy bigger ones, but we don't have any of the real big ones here today. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I thought these ones were pretty big to me already. Yeah. <laughs> no, there are some bigger ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Definitely something for any skill level, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. 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 So what what uh, what would somebody be looking for if they're uh, a beginner and they want to get into it? And uh, what kind of plane would be good for uh, for a beginner? Well, there are some very good low cost, okay. uh, actually uh, kits that you that are actually under four hundred dollars these days. But you, you can buy them at a, at a hobby shop. Yeah, they fly extremely well. Yeah, we do recommend though that you uh, come to see the local club. Okay. because uh, you buy a club membership and we will teach you how to fly. Yeah. Oh, that's will, great. We will, yeah. we will all but guarantee that you will be able to fly. Yeah. And we're there to help you with advice. Yeah. We'll even help them with advice on deciding what to buy. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And, and why that's for them. Yeah. Do you have... even an uh, inexpensive airplane is still a cost, yeah. right? So oh, yeah, you can definitely, have yeah. experienced uh, instructors showing you, it just helps yeah. you not crash right away, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, awesome. that's, that's what my biggest fear would be yeah. for me is uh, is crashing, <laughs> crashing it right away and, and do some big damage to it. Yeah. Would you have uh, one that's an intro level here? Or? Well, actually... Uh, yeah. Could you maybe show, yeah, me, yeah. show me one? So that way my, my viewers can see uh, what kind of plane would be like an intro. Oh, there we go. Here, here's one example. Very small foam uh, airplane flying. Also, oh, it's made out of foam. Yeah, it's, it, it only weighs about uh, three ounces. Okay. It flies very well, very, very easy. Okay. Uh, that's one way to go. Uh, what some people do, they'll buy them at the hobby shop, and some people, they, they, they can actually learn to fly themselves. However, okay. it's not a good idea because they don't yeah. understand rules, regulations, and safety. Okay. And we live in a world where that is important. Yes. Because we don't want them to fly it at a park and fly it into, say, some children, yeah. families, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. And so you think you can fly this one and then you upgrade to something <laughs> maybe a little bit more and then all yeah. of a sudden it's all just a little bit different. And, and does this one operate on, on battery or...? Yeah, this one is electric. Oh, this one is electric. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. what do we got up here? Like this big one up here, what is... Uh, is that also made out of uh, styrofoam or...? Yeah, that's also a styrofoam aircraft, and this is, uh, right now I would say this is about the largest styrofoam aircraft uh, that they've built so far. Yeah. The amazing thing is that it actually flies very well, very easy. Okay. Uh, 
it wasn't built as a trainer, but okay. could could actually be used as a trainer. Could be used as a trainer. Yeah, okay. but it, again, again, you would definitely want to do that. With in, in, yeah, with, yeah. Training, with an yeah. instructor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, we don't actually have any what we call formal training aircraft here, and I don't know why. <laughs> most, most well, it's more you know like a show, an intro, or, yeah, or yeah. like a display of all your the unique stuff yes. yeah unique yeah. stuff M most years we would have a couple of them here i don't know why this year we don't it's just yeah. that i guess uh, are these uh, planes for sale or are they uh, just as a display out here today or today they're for display okay um there are a couple of guys you know anything's for sale right yeah. but um yeah. most of these well i would say all of these are um, members from our club or members from other clubs have brought their planes out just as a display okay kind of a promo to the community yeah. um, we're selling tickets today okay. raffling off an airplane for people okay. so and uh where, whereabouts are you guys located like i've not, i have no idea where you guys are or like my viewers if they want to find you or... okay we're located in steinbach okay um, just off of clear spring road okay um, is a that... mile i think we're a mile east is... About half a mile east of Clear Spring Road, and then another quarter mile more. Okay, so yeah. you guys are really close by then. Yeah, if you okay. know this Diamond area, we're right behind Diamond Construction. Diamond. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what does one have to do to become a member with you guys? Um, well, show up pretty much. Up. Um, there is a membership fee. Okay. Uh, it's sixty-five dollars, okay. and then there's a junior fee as well for those under the age of eighteen. Okay. Um, so we do require a Mac insurance. Mac insurance. Yeah, to what fly to fields. Uh, Mac is the governing body of Canada. Okay. Um, when it comes okay. to just regulating the safety of RC aircraft. Okay. So our field is Mac sanctioned. So okay. we require Mac insurance from the members who fly as well. Okay. Well, well that's great. Both the both of the club membership and the Mac insurance that Heather mentioned, they're both available from members at our flying field. Yeah. Okay. And of course, you can find us if you uh, if you go on the internet and dial Diamond Aces. Diamond Aces. Yeah, we're, okay. we're quite easy to find. Yeah. Okay. The other thing is you can go down to the local hobby hobby shop here in Steinbach, oh, yeah. at Janssen's Paint and Hobbies. Okay. They know all about us. They have our information on file at the store there. Yeah. Okay. Of course, they would love to sell you an airplane, right? Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I would love to own one, to be to be <laughs> honest with you guys. Well, we can sell you a ticket. And we, yeah, and, yeah. We, and we can look out. And, and oh, I yeah. did already buy a ticket. <laughs> Perfect. Just, yeah. Awesome. Well, I actually bought four. But <laughs> Do you guys also have RCs or just... Uh, like just uh, airplanes like cars or trucks or anything like that no this is this is an this is the radio control aircraft club okay we're exclusively aircraft now of course that's fixed wing uh we do some helicopter as well okay but those those are the two things we concentrate on okay and with the fixed wing we have aircraft of course that, uh, that fly off the wheels at our site okay uh, off of our runway we have a yeah. grass runway yeah about a 350 foot grass runway oh wow and you can all some aircraft and a lot of us have aircraft with floats on them as well okay. and so we may end up yeah i saw i saw one over here let's yeah, just have a look at it yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Some, but some of our uh, some of our club members do they'll take uh, they'll, they'll go to the, their local uh, lake or a pond yeah. Yeah. there's there's several ponds around here where you can go and, and fly a float plane as well yeah yeah i know we have we have one there at the museum, but I don't know if we would be able to fly it. Well, that wouldn't be a good place because you're too too, <laughs> too close, close to, yeah. the, to traffic and yeah, public, yeah, kind of I guess you, so. Yeah. You would want to find a, a remote site uh, where you're not uh, don't wouldn't run into the danger of flying into people. Yeah, cars exactly. Yeah. And I saw you guys have a uh, fighter jet up here. What's the uh, what's the story behind that one? That is uh, that's actually an electric. It's called an electric ducted fan jet. Okay. And uh, uh, they they fly quite fast. Okay. Uh, they will. They tend to fly a little faster than a than a, than, a, than an aircraft or than like than a than a fixed wing yeah. uh, propeller airplane. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they fly very well. Okay. They, they've become very popular in the last 10, 12 years. Yeah. Because of the advancement in things like uh, uh, electric motors with the fans that they use, and of course the battery power. Okay. Uh, that and whole battery technology has brought this hobby uh, to the next level, eh? Absolutely. Yeah. And and yeah. how long would you be able to uh, fly something like this? Oh, they'll they'll uh, f uh, flight time would be anywhere from minimum of say four between four and ten minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
because they fly tend to fly fairly fast, yeah. some of the flights are a little bit shorter because yeah. you really have to concentrate on what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> well, I saw you guys had a, uh, I believe it's your simulator there, right? Yes. Yeah, I, I was trying that on there. <laughs> and that is, that is a, a lot harder to fly than what you might imagine, right? <laughs> that's exactly right. In fact, that, that simulator there is uh, compliments of Janssen's painting hobbies right here in Steinbach. Okay. They're a big, big supporter of our club and we really appreciate them. Okay. Uh, and so they, they help us out, they bring that in and, uh, and we work very closely with them. Well, that's great. Well, I think that's just about going to wrap it up. Would you guys like to uh, say anything before we go? Like maybe do a little bit of advertisement for you guys? Or people like website maybe telephone number if you guys want to give it out or do you well, guys do uh, repairs as well or there's definitely guys who fix airplanes okay <laughs> but if anybody's interested our website is um, diamondacesrc.com okay so all the information as to when we fly phone numbers contact information can all be found on that website okay all right and if anyone is in jazz's paint and hobbies as yes. well you yep. can ask them. They, yeah. they, because we we uh, we meet with them on a regular basis. Yes. yes. And they're they they're our, one of our largest supporters here. Yeah. And of course, the other thing that we should mention is that without the support of Diamond Construction, Diamond Construction. Mm -hmm. they've been a tremendous supporter for over 25 years, allowing us to fly yeah. on their site. Yeah. And without that, we we just you wouldn't exist, right? No. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. we'd have to exist some other place. Yeah. And and it and we have the handiest and nicest site. Yes. Uh, possible. So. Yeah. Do you guys have just one store in, in Steinbeck or you guys are... Janssen's? Okay. Janssen's has three sites in okay. the management okay. club. Okay. Yeah. The one here in Steinbeck is the one that we go by. We go by yeah. All right. They do have All right. sites. Well, awesome. it was, uh, was a pleasure meeting you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Rudy. You. All yeah. right, no okay. problem. We're just going to go along here and uh, show you guys a little bit on what kind of planes we got up here. Look at the stealth bomber up here. Look at that, and pink color too, eh? Yeah, and we got a uh, sprayer, sprayer airplane up here. Yeah, look at this green one up here. Yeah, I think that was certainly a uh, nice, nice interview that we did up here. Look at this one. I have no idea what this one is called. That's cool, eh? Yeah, oh, there's a gas one. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying this show that we got going on up here today. Oh, look at this one. We got we got a woman in there. Yep. Yeah. That's an interesting color, eh? Wow. Look at that. We even have a uh, World War airplane up here. Look at that. That's a very interesting interesting uh plan eh look at that even has got the uh, bombs in the back there yep so we're gonna go over to the other booth and uh they i saw they got some they got even got a truck up there a military truck and stuff like that so probably go up there and do a little videoing of that well guys we are outside as you guys can probably tell I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, video clip where I did the interview and I will probably leave the uh, link for their website up here on the screen somewhere so you guys can check out their website and stuff like that and uh, see if you guys find a toy that you guys might like but on the other hand have a look at this here we are gonna have ourselves a nice barbecue we got the charcoal almost ready to go we got the fire going outside and we got my good friend over here he's gonna tell me if the barbecue is any good tonight so let's get started well guys our dinner is just about ready let's have a look look at that that looks pretty much well done yep so we're gonna go inside and have ourselves a real nice dinner at least that's uh, what I think it's gonna be our inspector over here is going to tell us later on, but uh, for now we're thinking that's pretty good. <laughs> 